Procter and Gamble. And when we talk about annual revenue growth, you see, serious. Look at this. 31%, 21%, and here it's lower and lower, 3%, 9%. So if we ask which company is the most successful in growth, actually it's one of my favorite exercise in my face-to-face -face classes, I give these numbers and I don't give the last number. And I ask, okay, which company is growing? If you are an investor, which company you choose to invest your own money? You can choose several companies, like if you have 100 of something, $100 million, $100,000, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100
uh, after Soviet Union collapse, when, so when uh, private businesses were at last allowed, entrepreneurs just shopping, they just, they just did everything. Everything what is possible to buy and sell. Everything was possible to produce cheap and, sh and sell more expensive. People did everything. And actually it was good time to raise your um, funds, your start for your starting capital. But then successful companies kind of establish their own vision, what they do, and uh, abandon other products which kind of didn't relate to their main idea. Uh, development of entirely new products. This, this approach, it's nice, it's nice, and it's very much respectful, and we like companies which always find something new. But uh, launching new product is pretty expensive stuff. And uh, if you do it always, if you're kind of crazy about let's do, let's do new, 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 we like to be kind of first always innovators, always first, it's dangerous for sustainable growth. It's again, it's possible to jump now, but I'm not sure about sustainable, sustainable growth. But you see, high tech industries is exception. This is the only industry which can um, do this, which is allowed to do this and be sustainable. Because uh, contributions here, it's kind of not so tangible. Uh, that's why, and industry is developing so fast that you cannot avoid kind of this strategy. So this is the only exception. For all other strategy, for all other industries, if you shopping from product to product, or you always invent something new, you, you kind of uh, don't establish sustainable growth for your company. It's not about growth, it's about shopping. <coughs> uh, Slavotsky and Weiss also recommend us stripping off uh, the growth mask. And they say that um, grow through unsustainable incremental moves are ah, first international extent, uh, expansion. I was actually surprised to find uh, in their article this idea because I believe international ex expansion is a really good stuff. Maybe because I'm very much international and I'm always kind of, you know, con consider myself as a citizen of the world. And uh, I see how in one part of the world economy uh, goes up, in other parts of the world exactly at the same time the economy goes down. And why should we stop thinking about this? At the same time, the idea is right. This is a source of growth, but again, it's not sustainable. It's not sustainable. If you kind of, if you just you know, again, jumping from opportunity to opportunity without having your own core kind of defining for yourself what exactly you're doing and how you are doing this, it's, um, it's not going to establish sustainability for your company. Acquisitions, again, um, acquisitions are good stuff and it's one of the sources of growth, but it's not about you. It's about them. So you just, you just bought three companies. Good. So it means that your uh, revenue became just closed down. But what about your business? What about your ability to um, to make this result? The same about non... And again, I don't want every time to mention this, the same for non-profit, the same for this, for this. You know that this is for the same. Just think about kind of be open to other terminology, and you will see that there is no big difference between non-profit organizations and uh, and business organizations. Actually, in the Chartered Institute of Marketing, uh, Great Britain, I, um, I, I was an accredited tutor of management courses for marketing, for strategic marketing programs, and they didn't even distinguish uh, non-profit and business. They just was one course for both. So acquisitions are good stuff, but again, it's not about sustainability. It's about um, taking advantage of opportunities, and it's good. Please do this. Uh, but be 
aware of it's not about you. Aggressive pricing. 